Living frugally doesn't have to be complicated. It's not about being as cheap as possible. It's about being intentional about how and when you spend your money. Let's count down the eight golden rules you need to know to truly live a frugal life. Number eight, be intentional with your money. By whatever means necessary, be intentional with how much you earn, how much you spend, and where every dollar goes. This allows you to prioritize the things that matter most to you. And when you do, you can cut down the things that don't mean much to you and spend on the things that matter. You don't have to stop buying your favorite name brand cereal or forego your adventurous vacations in favor of a staycation. If those things truly bring you joy, then indulge. But take a look at the other areas you spend money and determine if you need those as well. When you become intentional with your money, you'll be able to create your own approach and decide where you have to cut back and where you want to let yourself live. This is the cornerstone of frugal living. Successful budgeting, saving, and investing will always be elusive without this foundational knowledge. Number seven, understand the difference between investing and spending. Although spending and investing may appear to be the same thing, as money is technically leaving your pocket, they are not. Investing is the exchange of money for an asset such as a residence, increased job training and knowledge, or a mutual fund share. Spending, on the contrary, is the expenditure of money for something that will most likely lose value and not provide long-term benefits, like fancy dinners or a new vehicle. Being frugal does not imply that you should always choose to invest rather than just spend your money. You should live life to enjoy it occasionally, but as a golden rule, you should understand the difference. Learn how to put your money to work so that it makes you more money the majority of the time. This is how you enjoy a fuller and more quality life. Number six, buy less but better. Always diligently go for the product with the best value. To do this right, you sometimes have to choose quality over price. A $25 pair of sneakers may appear to be a good deal, but it isn't if you have to replace them every three months. An $80 pair that will last you two or three years will be a far better long-term investment. You should never confuse frugality with cheapness. As a rule, frugality requires you to consider the long-term value of any item on which you spend your hard-earned money. You should think about an item's lifespan and utility. That means buying high-quality goods, even if they are more expensive. Understand that penny-pinching isn't the best way of frugal living. You don't have to go for cheap alternatives. You just have to buy less but better, even if it means not minding the price tag. Spending as little money as possible up front seems like you're being thrifty, but often it drives you to buy more over time to replace or supplement low-quality products. Number five, know the distinction between a need and a want. Every day, throngs of advertisers devise new strategies to help you confuse needs and wants. It's a big deal for their business. In reality, your needs are quite simple. Secure shelter, nourishing food, physical exercise, good healthcare, basic clothing, and utilities. But how about the self-cleaning, solar-powered, lavender-infused kitty litter box you can control via smartphone? What kind of primitive existence would your life be reduced to if you didn't have this evolutionary device? Even though it makes life easier, it's not a necessity, and you will discover that you can live comfortably without it. Knowing how to tell what you want from what you need is essential for making sound purchasing decisions. Mastering this skill is a key rule to frugal living. Otherwise, your needs will become so great that your paycheck or other sources of income will never be able to keep up. Number four, avoid consumer debt. Understand this, the interest on consumer debt is a tax you pay for living beyond your means. The best way to keep away from consumer debt is to not have it in the first place. And one of the best ways to do that is by not using a credit card. Of course, credit cards can save the day from time to time, but using easy credit as a way to pad your lifestyle can be very dangerous. Interest and other charges will drain your budget and wallet and choke your chances at real financial freedom. By the way, the whole credit card versus no credit card debate is always interesting. Tell us in the comment section below which side you fall on. Whatever side you fall on, if you do have consumer debt, begin by taking small steps to gain greater control over your income and expenses by tracking your expenses and working to make more money. This will put you in a better position to avoid future debt. Number three, never buy impulsively. One of the most damaging vices of today's consumerist society is impulse buying. People buy things quickly without considering whether they will serve any real purpose in their lives. So here's the third golden rule. Don't buy anything just because you see it. Anything you buy that you didn't plan for in your budget ahead of time is an impulse buy. Let's be real. Buying on the spur of the moment could be a lot of fun. Like you walk into Target looking for diapers and before you know it, boom, your cart is overflowing with Chip and Joanna's incredible throw pillows. But that joy quickly goes away when buyer's remorse sets in or when the credit card bill comes due. 
The best way to save yourself from this financial heartache is to ensure your hard-earned money is on things you actually need. Give what you want some time, and if you still need it after a few days, go ahead and buy it. Another reason you should live by this rule is that piling things around us has the strange effect of crowding our mental space as well. So the less cluttered your home is, the clearer your mind will be. Number two, don't live to please others. To live a frugal life, you don't have to live to impress others and you don't have to put your life on display. Consider what you want and what you can manage within your budget. You don't have to spend a lot of money to impress others. The truth is, everyone will quickly forget about the expensive gown you wore to the party. Do you want to know why? Because there is so much new advertising that the impression you want to make on others fades in a matter of hours. So make your life easier for yourself by not chasing this pointless goal. Perhaps you insist that you don't concern yourself with keeping up with the Joneses, but most of us still concern ourselves with keeping up with family and friends. For example, if one of your friends is wealthier than you and often goes on classy trips or buys the most luxurious clothes, it's really difficult to resist the temptation to spend just to fit in. Relationships should not be centered on materialistic pursuits, especially if you want to live a frugal lifestyle. And if it's difficult to say no to a family member or friend who spends more than you can comfortably afford, redirect to an activity in which everyone can participate equally. Now, before we tell you the number one golden rule for frugal living, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you find this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up. Number one, live below your means. Living within your means is a great start, but living below your means is the fundamental golden rule of a frugal living lifestyle. It's where all the real magic happens. The surplus you generate by living below your means becomes capital for saving and investing, which becomes the fuel for long-term wealth creation. Contrary to what society may have you think, there's absolutely nothing wrong about spending less than you make. Living below your means is a fabulous way to live. It brings peace of mind and bridges the gap between what you spend and what you earn. You get to set money aside in a safe place to grow regularly. And as you grow, don't forget to sit back and appreciate life for what it is. You'll find even more reasons to be content and happy. If you're interested in ways you could start living a more frugal life, check out our video on six frugal living tips to save more. We hope you learned something new today, and if you like this video, please share it with a friend. See you in the next one.